Hey guys, Ray Jam, November 3rd at 6.30, so I got home like around 6. So, <laughs> I've been trying to find an axe, um, some some my Arthur outfit. I know it's big on me because I'm wearing the sweater underneath it. So it's kind of, looks a little funny. So then that way I have the white collar. But this way I'm like the female version of uh, Arthur. So I'm still in my Halloween costume. Although I think I'm going to keep this more of like a bell, like a bell costume from Beauty and the Beast, I think would work. And I kind of like the dress, so I might just wear it just as a normal summer dress. But this is what I got from the thrift store, and then I have a shirt underneath. I'm just tucking it in. <laughs> Alright, so that looks like... So I've actually seen uh, on the PBS website where they promote the Arthur um, outfit. It was actually a kid dressed up as Arthur in a yellow dress. But it kind of looks funny when it's just like, the dress. <clears throat> but I might just show you guys what the dress looks like without everything. But this it was freaking cold out. So. <laughs> That's why I didn't take, do too many long videos, but that's why it looks pretty big because I have like a lot of layers underneath. Because it's so cold outside. So, but I liked it. So yeah, I met, went to uh, go see Pastor Jack. And then I've been looking for an axe everywhere. And this is the, all that I could come up with. I got this from Dollarama for five bucks. But it's a real one, so I wanted a fake one, so then that way the cats can't hurt themselves. But it's just a display, it's for my Lizzie Borden and stuff. So I'm going to add it to the show, and I'm going to paint it black. <clears throat> so that'll probably be a project coming up. So I got black paint, and I'm going to paint this. Hopefully I'll go over, because the yellow kind of looks dumb. <laughs> But I was looking online and I was like trying to find a long, a long plastic uh, axe and they're like 5 to $20. So There's nothing like really cheap, like 5 bucks. So you can use stuff, they wanted a lot more so I just got a real one. But it's funny because now I'm like, I'm going to kill <laughs> anybody who comes near me. Just kidding. <laughs> but... <clears throat> Yeah, I kind of wanted something plastic, but it's just too hard to find it. But I think I'm going to keep the plastic on it for now until I get it up on the board. I mean, up on the display. Because, like I said, I have the Lizzie Borden DVD and the case because it didn't work. I'm pretty worn out. I even had uh, three, four cups of coffee. <laughs> So then I went to the school, and it was pretty, it's weird because, um, the school that I originally wanted to, uh, film at was right beside the library, but for, for whatever reason, when I was, like, taking my stuff out of my bag, I think she's a teacher or something, but she came over to me and she's like, are you okay, what are you doing here, or blah, 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 and I'm like, um, <clears throat> I was going to film, and then, she didn't hear me, so, but the way that she was looking at me was, like, really weird. So then she said, so then I said, oh, I'm waiting for my cousin. i got to pick them up from school. And then she's like, oh, well, there's no school or whatever thing today. So then I was just like, oh, well, I guess she's there at the other school. So sorry. So then I walked away. <laughs> so then there's a, another school in 41st. So I walked over, or 43rd. And I used that one instead because there's nobody around. Because it looked as though there's a lot of people coming in and out of the school anyways. So, like, when you film, it's really hard to film when there's, like, a lot of people around. So, <laughs> that's why I was trying to do that, like, at 4. And I didn't want to wait it around until it got dark. So, it's just, like, I guess I'll go to the other school. So, kind of, kind of weird. But I still have some videos as well from the school 
that I did the playground videos at. So I'm going to put them all together. And then I'm going to put together Arthur Goes to School <laughs> video for Halloween. So, because like I said, I haven't been able to like really celebrate. Uh, and it was a nice day today, except for that it was cold. So, like I said, I, I met up with Pastor Jack. Um, he actually gave me a gift card for No Frills and, well, No Frills, Superstore, all that stuff. And, uh, he gave me $20, so I put that aside. I still had money on my card left, so I used that to get the axe, which was 5 bucks. <coughs> And then paint was a dollar fifty, so we're gonna paint it because I was trying to find like tape, black tape that I could just come around, but I couldn't find any black. They only had clear, so I was just like, oh, I'll just do that. And they didn't have any cat classrooms, only dog classrooms, so that was disappointing. And then I got some more cat treats. So it's out at the Dollarama. So party mix. <laughs> That's what I got there. It was just kind of weird though how that person was like, Oh, uh, what are you doing here? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, can't I film? <laughs> and then she like totally ignored what I was saying. So then I said, but the way that she was looking at me after I said that was like, kind of weird look like, you're not supposed to be here kind of thing. I'm like, it's public property, so it's like, I get that's school, but I'm only there 10, 15 minutes tops. Because <laughs> it's freaking cold outside. So, that's why I didn't take the jeans off. <laughs> but Arthur wears like a white shirt, like this one, and then jeans. So that's what I was like, I might as well just kick the jeans on underneath. But, um,. Yeah, I just thought that was really weird. She was like, you're not supposed to be here. Well, she didn't say you're not supposed to be here. Just the way that she looked at me, it was like, you're not supposed to be here because there's no kids around or something. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. I even have my camera out or anything. I just had the um, dog backpack and the stuffed animal. So that's why I said, oh, I'm waiting for my cousin. So then that way it looks like that I'm trying to give the stuff to my cousin but I just thought that was kind of weird I was gonna say again I wanted to film but just the way that she was looking at me it felt awkward so I was like I'll just go to the other school it doesn't really matter what school I did it from because this is all that I was had on me and then I was going through my bag she looked for the mask and then she came by and then she's like oh what are you doing here are you okay and I was like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> and then I was like, I was just going to film and trying to find something. And then she was like, what? And then I was just like, gave me the weird look. And then I was just like, I oh, never mind, I'm waiting for my cousin. <laughs> and then she said, well, there's no kids around. So I was like, well, I guess I'm at the wrong school then or something. And then I walked away. But I haven't really had that happen to me before. <laughs> but usually I go on weekends. So... I should have went on the like, tomorrow, but tomorrow my friend might be coming, so that's good. It doesn't matter. I finally did. Finally did it. So, like I said, I wanted to do more stuff in my classroom, especially since I went to all this length to get this dress. So it's like, yeah, because <laughs> I wanted to be like, if you want to still dress up as Arthur, but you want to be wearing a dress or being like a girl then you could wear a dress because on the PBS kids site that's what she was doing. She was just wearing a dress and nothing else. Like no pants, I mean. <laughs> so and then I went to the library and I got two DVDs to pick up. So I finally got the Golden Girls. So I think I'm gonna watch this before I go to sleep. And I got Arthur DW and uh, Bessie's birthday, and I still have the other Arthur video that I have to watch. But I'm gonna watch Golden Girls, I think, <laughs> uh, before I go to bed, because I'm getting tired. That's why I'm kind of like leaning. I'm always leaning against something because I'm tired. So, 
And then I was thinking of uh, telling the ghost story, and well, I still might do that because wearing the dress, because then I kind of look like a kid <laughs> since I'm dressed up anyway. So I might do that. Um, do a ghost story because I haven't done one in a while. And then my pastor and I was actually talking about YouTube, and he's like, "How do you know what?" videos work so I don't I'm like I really don't know I'm like I just posted a video of me being on the swing I was 10 seconds long and that's like my most biggest <clears throat> video out of all the ones that I've done <laughs> the past few past few weeks I'm like I don't get why it's just 10 minutes of me being on the swing <laughs> but I guess because it's 10 minutes and then like when I'm at the cemetery uh, visiting my brother, doing the rocks and stuff, I got two high views of the videos for the short ones, but I'm not quite sure why, but I know, so it's, it's kind of weird, so I'm still trying to figure that out, but it seems as though the things that I think of that's going to be creative and that people are going to like, usually don't <laughs> do well, so it's kind of weird, but like I said, I also do this for myself, too, so it's not just for you guys, it's also for me, because I find it fun, and I like being on camera, I like dressing up, gives me something to do, and uh, I, I like sharing my life, because, like I say, it's hard having conditions, and I keep telling people, it feels like, it literally feels like I'm a zombie half of the time. And I feel like a lot of stuff has been taken away from me because I can't do everything that I wanted to do. Like my ghost stories, I couldn't do that for almost like two years. <laughs> because I was shaking all the time and then I was had to do all that stuff so I couldn't do what I loved. And then people just started asking me um, about my conditions and that's why I started YouTube again. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's just... And that's why I keep saying I feel like a lot of stuff has been taken away from me, so that's why I'm still celebrating Halloween, even though it's past Halloween now, but like I said, I couldn't really do it because I was sleeping all, all the time, and that's because it's being time is being taken away from me, so when I'm awake, I really want to celebrate Halloween this weekend, so that's why I did the Arthur thing at school. I just thought that was weird. What are you doing here? Blah, blah, blah. I think it's a school. Okay, it's public. I mean, the last time I filmed at the school, there's nobody. There was one person around. And they were just, like, exercising in the playground. It was raining, so I guess that's why. But, <clears throat> yeah, that was just weird. <laughs> so that's why I was at another school, if you guys are wondering. Because I know I said I was going to use the other school. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm done with the whole Arthur classroom thing now. <laughs> Doing videos. I was going to do, like, different scenarios and stuff, but, like, going to the library and Arthur does this and Arthur does that. But if people aren't really watching it, there's really no point of going out of my way to do it, all of them. I mean, like I said, I was doing it for myself because I went to great lengths to get this classroom and making this mask that I broke so many times. <laughs> so it's like, I wanted to take advantage of my classroom, but that's why when I was talking about my classroom, I'm like, that's why I'm doing so much in my classroom right now because I went to a lot of work to do the sexy phantom outfit. And the Arthur outfit and this mask, like, got damaged so many times. I had to keep fixing it. So, that's why I'm back out. So, yeah. But now, for now I'm done. I'm just going to edit that one video. But I like, um, putting them up on YouTube just so people could see what, I, what I'm up to. And that's what I was up to literally all day, so... Well, not all day, like, it was a half an hour, <laughs> but that, but, I'm Arthur, it's actually really hard to see in this mask, but yeah, it was, I do find it fun, though, I think, 
Like, I showed it to a few Tommy kids, and they thought it was cute. <laughs> like, I know where you film this. So, yeah. But, um, since I'm still in my classroom, I cut, I didn't get the time to do the dishes or clean or anything, but I did cook my favorite dish, which is my foodie takes flight. And I didn't want to be late, and I was still late, so... Oops, I just left it in the pan and I covered it. So that's what I made. <laughs> My favorite dish. So even though I've shown it so many times, now I'm showing it in my Arthur outfit. <laughs> so yesterday I was dressed up as the Phantom. Today I'm dressed up as Arthur. So, And then later I'll be dressed up as Lizzie Borden now that I got the axe. He's just helping me get black. So, probably going to do that later tonight. Um, but I'm so glad that uh, I got a gift card for stuff because today is still like two weeks away. So now I'm like, if I run out of cat food, I have that. And then if I run out of coffee creamer, which I can't live without, I have that. So, <laughs> I'm not trying not to use it. Um, so... And then, like I said, I did get uh, a little bit of money, $20, so that kind of helps, but that's going towards uh, putting it aside. Oh, no, wait, sorry, I didn't have money on my card. So I did use the money that, was doing, that I got from Pastor Jack for the axe, the paint, and the cat treats. So, I did buy something for the cats, <laughs> but, <clears throat> like I said, I mean, I'm putting my own money towards the beads, so that's why he, like, gave me money, he, like, oh, uh, well, since he made the bracelets, <laughs> and this could go towards your cats, so, I still have, like, uh, a little bit of money left, like, uh, probably like 14 bucks left I guess so it's not too bad but I'm going to try to save that because it's still like another two weeks but none of the money that I get donated ever goes towards my smokes whatever uh, money I get from disability that goes is what goes towards cigarettes and then I get a tab so yeah 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 so I'm off the <laughs> I don't know why, I got some comment, I, I think because I was talking about life with Cindy, so it's saying, who are you, kind of thing, and like, I think he, they were talking about life with Cindy, that's what bothers me when I get comments that are like, doesn't really make sense, and then I ask them, I'm like, I don't get what you're talking about, or how, huh, what, and they don't respond back, so I just said, well, everybody's allow their own opinion, if that's what they were talking about, because I think that's what it was, and like I said, I don't watch Life Plus Cindy anymore. Like I said, it's nothing against her, it's just that I watched her for cleaning purposes, to get me inspired to clean, and then all this drama happened, and then she's always swearing now, and always drinking, and drinking on medication, and that stuff really annoys me, so I don't watch, I don't watch her, and People are going to be mad because I say bad things about her. I mean, I'm not putting her down. I'm just saying you should not be drinking on medication. That's why I don't want to watch her. If you guys saw me smoking weed all the time, would you want me? Would you want to be watching me? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I don't smoke weed, but like that's why there's a lot of YouTubers that I stopped watching too because. There's a few people that did live, and all they did was smoke. Smoke, smoke, smoke weed. That's it. And then they drink, and it was like, why am I watching people drinking and smoking weed? <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't know why people 
do this kind of thing on camera, but okay. <laughs> I guess because they want to party and they just don't have anybody to party with, so they party at home and they put it on YouTube. Again, I'm not putting anyone down for doing that. I'm just saying it's not something that I want to be a part of. It's not something that I want to watch, and I don't want to watch people who drink. So, like I said, if I don't want to watch people who are abusive towards animals, and I don't want to, um... Yeah, so... Anyways, if you're going to leave a comment, explain your comment. <laughs> Cause there's a lot of comments I've been getting lately that makes no sense whatsoever. So it's like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. But anyways, yeah, so I don't watch Life Plus Cindy. Now I watch Shannon. And I watch um, my friend David. And Michelle and Claire and all of them. So like, <clears throat> but yeah, basically... Chelsea, Chelsea and Shannon right now are my two people that I've been watching since the beginning of the videos and then going, and of course Free Fine Life, but I've already watched all our videos, <laughs> I think. If not all our videos, most of the videos, so I'll have to probably go back and watch them again, but. Oh, <sighs> well. But like I said, everybody's allowed to op their opinion. Like I keep saying, you don't have to watch me if you don't want to watch me. If you don't agree with the way that I live, I mean, hey, I totally get it. If you don't agree with me talking about my conditions all the time and how bad my life is sometimes and how I <laughs> go out or whatever, I mean, I get it. But saying, who are you kind of thing to comment makes no sense so that's why I, go, I think they were trying to say who are who are you to say that i could talk bad about her but i wasn't talking bad about her like i said i don't mean any disrespect to like cindy i still like her as a person when she changes her life around sure i'll watch again it's just right now in the last two videos that i've been watching all that she's doing is drinking and swearing and then she disappears and then without saying anything and it's just like and then she comes back and then she still doesn't really say anything so it's like yeah <laughs> i mean i i don't if you're gonna do youtube and say you're gonna do a video every single day then and you're not gonna do it post something like i have a community post just community post so i post all the time on there and i post my photos on there and if i'm not if i'm going to go out and not have time to do videos before i go out then i say hey guys i won't be able to do a video until later on today because i got a rush but people just don't a lot of people don't say anything so you're left hanging there and then that's one reason why some people i don't watch anymore because they stop doing YouTube and they don't say why. <laughs> so it's like, what's the point of watching all their videos if they're not even online anymore? So, yeah. But, anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna um, change out of this and then show you guys what it looks like just with the dress and uh, do a ghost story and then go to bed. Well, not go to bed, but take a nap. So, once again, I'm a daily vlogger, and when I don't post, check my community post, because I constantly post there, and if you guys don't, like, follow me every single day, you guys don't have to. It's just what I do, because it's fun, and I enjoy it. So, and I know, like, I inspire a lot of people, and I encourage a lot of people, so I'm going to keep doing it. So, once again, I am Arthur. You're on Back of Stories, and pretty soon, up, coming up next will be a ghost story here on Back of Stories.